All right, guys, down here at the range today with my Smith & Wesson M&P 1522, ready to shoot up this car from different angles and different scenarios to see how well a car can actually stop a 22. If you watch my car versus just rounds in general video, I shot it with all different types of handgun rounds and rifle rounds, with most of them going straight through the car with the exception of the 380. The 3A actually went through one of the doors and you could find it laying on the seat, so pretty interesting results if you're ever in a defensive scenario and you wonder if a car can actually protect you. Pretty much the only solid spot that I've seen on the car seems to be in the wheel well area where there's a lot of steel with the axles and the engine block itself, but let's see if a car can actually stop a 22 long rifle. So I figure the best shot is to put it through a long rifle so this is about a, I think it's like a 16 and a half inch barrel. We're at 15 yards. I'm going to fire five shots and I've got a target propped up behind the door. So let's see if a car door can stop a 22. Let's go check it out. So you can see one, two, three, four, five. This was a hole from where I was shooting earlier, and this is actually an exit hole from around. So you can see the five hits, but let's see if they made it through and check the target. And they did, so one, two, and there is a piece of the door, three, so we definitely have entry holes, and the door could not stop a 22 um out of a rifle so that is pretty cool that some of them got stopped up inside the door but most of them actually made it through and punctured so i don't think a door is going to protect you so now i'm at about 10 yards and i've got the door at an angle and theoretically what this allows for is more metal and debris for the round to go through so if you're getting shot at at an angle will the door offer any protection I don't know if it will, but we will give it a try. I've actually tried this with some rifle rounds with some interesting results, but let's see how it works with a 22. Let's go check it out. So you can see the entry holes right now are very jagged and oblong. It's because it's going in at a slight angle. And after pulling out the target and checking it, there are no new bullet holes. So it looks like the door actually stopped the 22. I'm going to take a look behind the door and try to bring you guys along in a second. So I've already checked the back of the door and you can tell there are no new bullet holes. So the door being at an angle, angle actually stopped the 22. And this is what I found with rifle rounds. They did make it through the door, but it slowed them down to prevent them from exiting the other side of the car. So if you're getting shot at at an angle, the door offers more protection than it would be just a perpendicular shot straight through the side. So that is a pretty cool result. But still, you know, if you're going to get those perpendicular shots, the door is not going to offer much protection. And finally, I'm going to shoot through the windshield. I've got a target taped to the seat and I'm going to aim dead center at the target. I'm going to do this one shot at a time. This is also going to show you if a round deflects off the windshield, if it goes straight through and hits the intended point of impact. And this will kind of give you a exaggerated example since the 22 is a little bit slower. I'm sure rifle rounds and handgun rounds will travel much more true, but let's see what a 22 does against the windshield of a car. Should be fun. Pretty cool, let's go check it out. So here is the entry hole, and it actually made it all the way through, but it looks like it actually deflected up. So you could see I was aiming right here, and it deflected up and hit here at a weird angle. It was definitely tumbling. That is pretty cool. I'm gonna take one more shot. So now I'm almost point blank at the windshield, and what I'm gonna do is aim it at the exact same spot, and it'll probably create a new hole since I'm a lot closer. We'll see if moving forward closer to the car affects the way this round goes. So there's the second entry hole. It hit a little bit higher, but you can see I aimed at the exact same spot and it deflected low and went into the seat. So who knows, it looks like a 22 is not very predictable through a windshield, but this is a pretty cool result. So guys, you can see in all the movies that show bullets just deflecting off cars and not going through, even if you use the weakest round almost, like a 22 long rifle, 
The car still doesn't offer much protection. The glass is no go. It's going right through. Whether it deflects up or down, it is still going through the glass, even at this big slant of an angle. The door is perpendicular shots. It is going through, and you are probably going to get hit by something. Whether it's lethal or not, I'm not sure, but if enough are going through, I think something's going to hit something that's going to cause damage. About the only protection a car offers against a 22 or a bullet in general is the engine block, the wheel well area, and if you're using the car at an angle. So I hope you guys liked the video, and if you have, please check out my other ones and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.